Once the item types are defined, it can be attached to graphical elements within your project. This is a geo data set and we are attaching item type parcel details to the shape elements. The user interface provides you an option to key in the required property values. And the recent enhancement to this tool is now you can place the property values as text elements. You have options to turn on off the property values which you wish to place as text, improving productivity. There have been many requests from users for the item type clone option, wherein you can copy item types from one element to the other. While you copy the item types, you can edit the property values and place them as text elements. Item types can be attached to a model within a cell library. Every time this model is placed as a cell, the attached item types are copied to the new cell. Item types can also be attached to element templates, reference file and active file. Here are some support queries. Always attach item types to a model or a cell header via the explorer dialog. Some users have attached item types to elements within the cell and have reported missing item types. In this example, we have a title block item type attached to a cell header. Please note item types attached to nested elements of a cell may vary depending on the type of cell you choose to place, especially with shared cells and parametric cells. When you are placing as normal graphic cell, all the nested item types are propagated correctly. We have an idea post where there is a good discussion going on related to this topic. And if you have similar requirements, we encourage you to share your use cases there. Few other support queries where item types are missing when converting DGN to DWG. Please note item types attached to elements other than cells when saved to DWG do not convert as attributes. If you are in a DWG work mode, Select the DWG icon from micro session status bar and you will notice there are certain features disabled. There is a mention of tagging elements other than cells. So if you are saving this geo data set, parcel details attached to shape elements is not carried over. You will only see the property values placed as text elements. Now let's see the discussed features in a demo. This is a geo data set with some shape elements and let's try attaching an item type to an element. Navigate to the attach menu item and under item types click on the attach item. Expand the library and select parcel details. On the right hand side, let's key in some property values. Key in the parcel number, house number. You will notice there are already some default values pre-populated. Once property values are filled in, you do have the option to place the property values as text. You can place all the properties as text, turn on this toggle button or select only the required property values to place. Select a textile. Identify the element to attach the item type and place the text. So this is a nice workflow where you can attach an item type, key in the property values and place them as text all in one step, which previously had to be done with multiple steps. Now let's try the item type clone option. Select an element which has item types attached. You can see the element tool displays if items are attached, which is a good indicator. Select the clone item option. Update the required uh, property values. and attach it to the, the new element and place 
the property values as text. You also have the option to edit item type values. Wherein you can change the property values and click the update button to, to make those changes or simply double click on the text item and edit the property values. These are some good enhancements that has been introduced in the later versions of MicroStation. Item types can be attached to a model, element templates, active file and reference file. Always attach item types to a model or cell header via the explorer dialog box. Right click on the model and then attach items. Here we are trying to attach an item type to a, to a file. Some users have attached item types to elements within the cell and have reported missing item types. In this example, we have a title block item type attached to a model or a cell header. Please note item types attached to nested elements of a cell may vary depending on the type of cell you choose to place, especially when placing it as shared cells and parametric cells. When you are placing as normal graphic cells, all the nested item types are propagated correctly. Item types attached to elements other than cells when saved to DWG do not convert as attributes. Let's try and save this DGN to DWG. You will notice the item types are missing from the shape elements. You will only see the property values placed as texts. If you are in a DWG work mode, select the DWG icon from the MicroStation status bar and you will notice there are certain features disabled. There is a mention of tagging elements other than cells. So only cells with item types gets exported when saved to DWG file format. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.